spelled it. I recently got this Audi TT to start. And this is the motor that I gave a full refresh. We still haven't taken it for a test drive. There could be more problems. In order to take the TT for a drive, there's still a lot of stuff that needs to be, well, put together. See, we're gonna give the TT some new lowering springs and upgraded struts. These lowering springs should lower the car at least about an inch so I think that it's it's just gonna add to the car and make it just look that much better now that everything is removed from the bottom I'm thinking all we have to do is remove this top bolt and the whole thing should slide out then we can remove this knuckle from there and swap it over now that I have the old strut off, I'm going to have to swap over the knuckle to that one. So I did throw down a fresh coat of paint to make this look a little bit better. I did paint inside here to make that look a little bit better. Honestly, this is probably one of the easiest things I've done on this Audi, so let's lower this car. We got a new axle right here. Let's throw in the axle. Fortunately, I cannot tell if the car is sitting any lower because, I mean, you've got to do the other side. This boot is kind of torn. This axle is way too long. If you can see, it is making it stick out way too far. It is the next day and I did get the proper CV axle. I gotta remove the old one and then we're gonna throw that in the cart. We have the front struts installed and it looks absolutely sick. Now, it's hard to tell, but they are much lower because if you see right here, I can get about three fingers in here and back here I can fit my whole fist. Now it's time to install the rear. So let's get to installing these. So we have the rear lowering spring on and it is sitting a little bit lower and now I can show you guys this is the aftermarket one and this one is the OEM one it is lowering it just just a little bit. Now that I think that we got the springs out of the way, now I think it's time to install this radiator. Let's give this thing a proper cold start. Let it warm up to temperature and make sure that there are no leaks. Now I think it's time for the real test and let's take this thing out for a drive. All right guys, I've always wanted to try to do this. Let's try that again. Audi 
ATT is running. It's a little rough right now and we it's missing pretty good right now. Something isn't right. Let's get it back to the shop and see what's going on. Well, we know that the TT is running and it's somewhat driving. It does have a misfire. The starter decided to go out on it. Awesome. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to watch more of the TT, be sure to hit that subscribe. This video is over and peace.